10 comedy sequels that didn't live up to the iconic original movies. Great comedy movies can feel like catching lightning in a bottle, and this often means that sequels fail to live up to the originals. Comedy is notoriously difficult to replicate. A brilliant comedy movie requires the perfect combination of writers and actors working together with an interesting premise and plenty of room to explore. Changing any of the many parts involved in making a movie can lead to a complete collapse, and a disappointing sequel. Because comedy is so hard to replicate, there aren't very many successful comedy franchises. However, some crowd-pleasing comedy movies are so popular that they demand sequels, even if the premise can't support another story. Comedy requires the element of surprise, and making unnecessary sequels is the same as telling the same joke over and over again, and characters can wear out their welcome quite quickly. Zoolander isn't just a parody of shallow, image-obsessed celebrities. It also takes aim at a very specific moment in America's cultural history. The first movie was perfectly timed to capitalize on this trend, but since the sequel came a full 15 years later, the culture had shifted so much that Zoolander 2 no longer felt as relevant or interesting. A star-studded cast was not enough to save the sequel from poor reviews. Zoolander 2 dealt a blow to Ben Stiller, but he wasn't the only star whose reputation took a hit. Despite also bringing back Will Ferrell and Owen Wilson, who contributed so much to the original, Zoolander 2 failed to meet expectations. The sequel traded in much of its comedic punch for a string of meaningless celebrity cameos. Katy Perry, ASAP Rocky, Katie Couric, Stephen Hawking and many more famous faces played themselves, but they didn't add much to the movie. The Hangover has a dynamite premise. It's a comedy movie, but there are elements of mystery as the members of the wolf pack wake up struggling to piece together the events of the previous night and find their missing friend. A sequel wasn't necessary, but the playful dynamic between Bradley Cooper, Ed Helms, and Zach Galifianakis was too entertaining to use just once. Rather than finding a fresh new approach with the same characters, The Hangover Part 2 tries to repeat the same plot, substituting Las Vegas for Bangkok. The sequel, therefore, can't escape comparisons to the original movie, and since the surprise and the mystery elements are much diminished the second time round, these aren't favorable comparisons. The Hangover Part II's saving grace is that it isn't The Hangover Part 3. Despite the franchise's diminishing returns, Bradley Cooper appears open to The Hangover 4, over a decade later.